What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be doing the 14 days of Fortnite summer event. It's basically a whole bunch of challenges that you can complete, and once you complete them all, you get this amazing banana smoothie back bling. This is an amazing way to add more items to your Fortnite locker. When you get a win, they updated the screen too. And now I'm going to show you all the challenges. For the first challenge, you needed to emote at six different beach parties. And once you do that, you get the deep end emote. So basically for the next challenge, you needed to bounce different beach balls in different matches. And when you do that, you get the soak it up loading screen. So a cool thing about this event is every day of the event, a new vaulted weapon comes back. And for this challenge, you needed to eliminate someone with that or a drum gun. And if you're doing this challenge, I definitely recommend to do it in Team Rumble because you can get it done a lot faster. And when that is completed, you get the water balloon toy. So for this one, you needed to thank the bus driver and place in top 20 or lower in different matches. Once you- wait, hold up. How did not even one of those bullets shoot me? Like, look at that. Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> that wasn't necessary. <laughs> but yeah, once you do that, you get the perfect blend emoticon. So for the next challenge, what you need to do is pop different party balloons and you need to pop five different ones. Will I get the chest? Watch the end of the video to find out. And once you pop the different balloons, you get the sunny spray. So on this challenge, it unfortunately didn't record. You basically needed to search different unicorn floaties. And if you don't know what they look like, they pretty much look like the pool party back bling. Once that challenge is completed, you can collect the Neon Tropics wrap. So this challenge is very easy, and all you need to do is hit a player in different matches with the water balloon. And once you do that, you get this loading screen. Now for this challenge, all you need to do is bounce on top of different giant beach umbrellas in different matches. And you get this banner icon when you're done. So for this challenge, you need to get 250,000 points, I think it's called, and using the Neon Tropics rep. And make sure you're using the drift board or it won't count. And once you complete that challenge, you get the surf stick spray. So this challenge didn't record either, but basically you had to launch different fireworks on the riverbank. And once you do that, you get these amazing pickaxes and I think they're called low and slow. So basically for this challenge, you need to activate different clown games and make sure to score 10 or higher or the challenge won't be completed. And when you do that, you get the beach ball control. So for this challenge, you need to visit a giant rubber duck and a giant beach umbrella in the same match to complete the challenge. And once you complete it, you get the quack pack back bling. So this challenge is extremely hard. So basically where I'm marked, there's a rubber duck and there's only one that spawns every game. So make sure to get it first and complete the challenge. It took me multiple games just to complete it. So it might take you multiple games too. And once you complete it, you can sit back and relax and listen to this amazing Sparkles music. So I think this is the last challenge I believe and basically what you need to do is use the low and slow pickaxes to destroy different grills all around the map. Now 
you get this grill banner icon when you're done. Once every challenge is finally completed, you get the banana smoothie back bling. So if you stuck around all the way to the end, I did end up getting the chest and I also ended up getting an elimination. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.